mobile reporting with Google Analytics. Now we're going to look at the mobile overview report. The mobile overview report can be accessed on the left nav by going audience, mobile, and overview. So the mobile overview report we find is a very useful report. This is one that's going to give us a breakdown of devices categories and the behavior for each. So a device category, there's three of them, and they're defined as desktop, mobile, and tablet. Desktop is pretty self-explanatory. These are all your laptops and, and desktop computing devices. Mobile would be any smartphone, and tablet would be anything that's sort of in the middle, so essentially a touchscreen tablet. And what we want to what we get to look at in these reports are the fundamental stats for each and we can analyze accordingly. So let's take a look at this. We have desktop traffic, about half of our traffic. Um, this is about common right now at the time of making this video. Technically mobile typically is higher than, than desktop should be, um, but for our particular website we're at about half desktop still. Um, we look at things like bounce rate for each device. This is important if we see outliers again, maybe mobile's bouncing real high or maybe desktop's bouncing real high. You know, we want to look into stuff like that. And, uh, you know, some of the most important metrics, of course, are always going to be on the right side here, the conversion metric. So desktop accounted for 18 conversions or about $800 and a 1.92% e-commerce conversion rate. And next we're going to look at mobile, right? It's about 35% of traffic. Uh, we see nine transactions for about $521 in revenue. What we want to look at here, again, are the outliers. We really want to look at does mobile perform substantially better or worse than desktop? That's, that's usually a, a thing to focus on first because websites today tend to not yet be uh, where the mobile experience needs to be. So we want to make sure that that's not way out of whack. Um, if we do see an opportunity where mobile traffic converts really well, and um, you know, right now by default we have this report set to e-commerce, but we could jump over and look at our newsletter subscribers, for example. And we could see things like uh, you know, mobile traffic, while it didn't convert as well to make a sale, it actually converted really well to uh, get a sign up and, and look at tablets actually as well too. So, you know, we want to look at these different traffic sources and say, well, well, what does this really mean? Is if mobile's converting really well for a certain point, should we be buying more mobile traffic? Should we maybe run AdWords a little bit heavier on the mobile side? Should we do a little more display retargeting to mobile devices to try to drive people back? Um, this is really, again, not something that happens in a vacuum. So just because a certain device performs better doesn't tell the whole story, but it gives us a starting point, a launching point to dig a little deeper and figure out what exactly we can do marketing wise to better monetize our website. Device reports. Device reports give us a very granular view of the different devices used to view our website. So to access device reports, you're going to go audience, mobile, and then devices. So in this reporting set, we've got a number of different toggles that we're going to go through, but by default, we see the mobile device information, which gives us a feeling for what device users are browsing on. In this particular example, we see that the iPhone is the most popular, the iPad second to that, and the list goes on. We can toggle over and get some more detail on the specific brands of mobile devices. We can look at the service provider meaning the internet connection, essentially. We can look at the operating system. So is it iOS, Android, Windows, etc.? We can look at screen resolution. So we can take a look at all the different screen resolutions. Um, and, and what I think this becomes most useful to do, I think for most of you, it will be just a very kind of nice to know thing. But a few takeaways that we've seen are kind of useful would be the operating system. So let's say we're a very highly trafficked website and we're considering making an app. We may say, well, wait a minute, iOS is, is a substantial portion of what of our traffic existing. So, you know, that would probably be the best place to start with a, with a, with a device for Apple as opposed to Android if we had to ch choose, right? Maybe budgetary constraints we may have to choose. So it might be one way to look at it. Another thing to consider, of course, is screen resolution. So if we really want to dig into the usability of our website and we know that 23% of the traffic is looking at a, and this again is specific to mobile traffic. So of 23% of that mobile traffic is looking at a screen that's this size, you know, do we, let's look, let's go through that experience. Let's make sure that everything 
uh, resolves the way we want it to. The calls to action are still prominent on that screen. You know, a lot of times with responsive design, critical calls to action can get pushed to the bottom of the page and that sort of thing. So um, we always want to look at outliers. So we do see that people on this particular screen size, let's say, for example, convert. Uh, so 360 by 640, they're converting at only 2%, whereas those at 768 by 1024 are converting four times higher. Um, that may be inevitable, um, but that said, it may not be. So we may there may be something we can do about this. We want to look at our calls to action and how they appear on this particular screen size versus this screen size. And we can really d dig into more of usability issues with a lot of this and, and try to come up with actionable ways to improve on different device sizes. Um, obviously, we know that the mobile world is, is going to be everything if it's not there already. So we really want to focus on those different user experience situations and uh, that is something that the mobile device report is very good for um, probably at, as a beginner to google analytics not something you want to focus on but definitely something to spend some time on as you become more comfortable